Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech with Dinesh Pilani. In this channel, I'm gonna upload the video related to WordPress development, DevOps, security ops, website speed optimization, and many more. So this is my first video of YouTube channel. Uh, I'm gonna start with version control with WordPress and with that further we're gonna make a pipeline and deploy that website in any of the environment whether it is dev QA or production so for that you need to have account with github bitbucket or gitlab for this video we're gonna use bitbucket as it is free of cost and it provides private repositories so let's create account on bitbucket so this is the website you can click on login and there will be an option for sign up an account <coughs> you need to put your email id and you can put your name and the password let's check our inbox yeah we got the mail so verify the mail yeah so you can keep here any name you want I'm keeping it as video series fill the form or you can skip it so here we are in the account and we can create a repository as you can see and you can keep your name is a version control as I said it provides you a free repository a private repository so create a repository here so as we have set up the account with the bed bucket the second is we are gonna install the wordpress on our local system so that you can download the software that is used to run the php on the local host that is xamp you can download xamp from here click on it and the download will start as I am cancelling the option because I have already installed it in my system and after the installation there will be folder created in your drive where you have installed it will be xam htdocs and here you need to create a folder we gonna name it as version control and I have already downloaded the wordpress zip file so I'm gonna copy it in the version control folder we're gonna extract it and delete the file and copy all the files outside as it will be a direct accessible when we click localhost slash version control so we are gonna start xamp I can't find it here so it will be at here control panel yeah got it and then you need to start apache and mysql Then you need to allow permissions. Allow.
after that you need to write here localhost slash the folder name version control and for setup in the wordpress we need to have a database as well so i'm going to ph my admin you can follow my instruction and then you can go to php my admin and create a database we click on new we can give the name version control by default the username for the version control will be root and the password will be empty as it is a local host if it was a server then there should be a username and a password so i am keeping here a blank giving the username as root and defining the database name as version control and click on submit if everything goes okay you will find here a run the installation button and give here a title version control and give the username admin you can give it any password let's confirm here and you can give any mail id local host at the test yeah so let's click on login and as i click there is save so it's autofill here and i click on login and if you refresh the wordpress you can see here all the tables that are created on the installation so here is my first wordpress we going to use with for version control and further make the pipeline so that we can transfer the website data from one environment to another so i'm going to install one plugin it's a very good plugin for doing a version control and it will help in pipeline as well the plugin name is revisor click on install after the installation click on active so here in the left hand side menu you can see the revisor so click on it and it will initialize a blank repository so click on next step you need to track everything or a plugin theme upload or a plugin or theme so we going to select here everything click on initialize the revisor and then continue to dashboard so basically it provides all the thing and this plugin is sponsored by site by web hosting so we can see here there is no branch created and there is 2037 untracked file we can take the database backup we can discard the changes save the changes pull and push the changes and we can see here what the commit we have made for any branch and we can see here the branches and we can create here new branch and after we go to settings we can see here many options general remote database and help in general you can have a get username or a email and then you can this is an optional part if you want to define the git path or not and here you need to include the files which you want to ignore so that git won't track it uh, here you can give the folder name as cache 
as those who are using a wordpress they know what where is the cache folder and what it what it does so you can in, ignore the cache folder and any other folder you want to have like for htaccess a config file and other so we gonna in ignore the two file htaccess or a config file and here is an option for automatic backup schedule daily or on a weekly basis and here is an option for enabling the email notification and this is an option for removal of data on the uninstall so guys this was the first part of installation of wordpress creating the bitbucket account initializing the revisor and in next video i am gonna go with the further how i can we can create a branch and then push the data to a version control and further we gonna make a pipeline if you enjoyed the video please like and share and subscribe thank you